Good morning everyone and welcome back to soggy Southern California. It's a little moist outside today. It just uh, had a little pause in the rain here so I decided to pop into the circle. Just can't get enough of looking at the store from that thing you do. And I suddenly remembered my Charlemagne. Or actually, I suddenly remembered that next door to this store was another antique store. The creepy basement one. Ooh, fancy. This is the kind of store where someday someone's gonna find Napoleon's underwear. The upstairs is a little too fancy for me. I feel much more at home down in the basement. I was raised in the basement. No, I wasn't. Uh, huh? Ooh. Scary. It's really quiet down here. So quiet that the ticking of this clock Sounds awfully loud. See, I love the basements of these places because you never know what's gonna be down here. Case in point, some good tiki stuff. Ooh, I know this feeling. Ah. Too many Mai Tais, buddy. I love looking at nautical nonsense. It's just something I wish. Well, that's scary. I don't see any giant mailboxes, which is what I'm still looking for, but I do see some sweet mid-century stools or chair stools, stool chairs. I love that stuff. Also, look at this seat of honor ashtray. It's a toilet seat. Gross. Ooh, old school. Oh, the scary statue of the Virgin Mary is gone. Oh, but they made up for it with this terrifying dinosaur-sized parrot. Polly doesn't want a cracker. She wants to peck your eyes out. Ooh. Well, no luck on a mailbox. Just a lot of creepy. Creepy. Somewhat terrifying. Haunted. Frightening. And disturbing items. What a fun one. I think this thing wants to take my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, here's a really cool letterbox. Awesome. Not what I'm looking for, but awesome. Oh, also a concrete alligator head. That's neat. Otherwise, I think I'm out of luck. Ooh, careful. You want to take a picture of that painting? It'll cost you $400. Yep. No luck today. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. I will eventually find a mailbox. Or build one out of cardboard. Eventually. All right, as much as I love the orange circle, I got a buddy of mine waiting for me. And he's waiting for me someplace I think that you guys will like. That's right, we're going back to Disneyland. Just gonna park the old horseless carriage here and then we'll head right in. Oh, oh look, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, it's so weird coming in the parking garage and getting close to the escalators and seeing all this open space. Disney has turned this area near the front of the different levels of the parking garage into their preferred parking. The whole rest of this level is full. And only, let's see, eight cars have chosen the preferred parking. I don't think it's working out the way they intended it to. Little Star Wars land construction going on over there. I don't really care about the Star Wars construction. What I'm more interested in is this, the backside of the new Rivers of America right there. Hopefully opening up very soon. The railroad will be back open. The Mark Twain will be back open. And more importantly than both those things, Phantasmic will come back. I love me some Phantasmic. Just a quick dash through security and I'm on my way. We are now en route to the Disneyland Resort main entrance plaza, gateway to Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, and the downtown Disney district. Here we go. Hey. Hey, it's George. What's up, dude? Nice jersey, bro. Love America much? He does. Ooh, check it out. The Downtown Disney Singers. I have no idea what they're actually called, but it's a good description. That's how you know when a song is over, when they go, bow. Yes, that's how you know you're back at Disneyland. You're so excited, George. You're so excited. Mickey! Flower Mickey. I've never made a Mickey out of flour. I have made a cake out of flour once. That's a joke. Eh. It's okay to laugh, dude. That wasn't funny, though. Look it! Mickey! Mickey's new look is my favorite look of all the looks. I wish I could just replace my whole head with a new head and new face, dude. Don't you wish that? You just become a Disney character and you can. Well, I am a Disney character. Almost. I'm almost there. It's just so handsome. So handsome. This is my favorite version of Disneyland. No giant pumpkin, no Christmas tree, just a beautiful, wonderful view down Main Street USA of the castle. Old school. Look at it, George. Walt and Mickey. It's like you and me standing there. Same height difference. I think I'm taller, dude, so I'm Walt and you're Mickey. You're not taller than me. I think so. Taller. Who's taller? <laughs> I think I'm definitely taller, bro. No I can way. see your neck from here. I love Main Street USA. Look at it. So peaceful 
So wonderful. The sun is coming out sort of behind the clouds, or at least making an appearance-ish. Dude, I have plastic bags in my pocket. I was all prepared to protect the camera with the rain, you know? And uh, every time I come to Disneyland, I'm like, I'm gonna show rainy Disneyland. Freaking sun comes out. Every freaking time. Every time I come here, I'm not prepared. I'm just holding the camera out in the middle of nowhere. It starts to rain. Why don't you check the weather channel? Uh, I don't have it. Oh, I'm kidding. Disneyland is a wonderful place. Wonderful! Okay, time for me to visit my favorite place in the park. That's open, because Pirates is closed. First, I gotta say what's up to Jefferly. What's up, Jefferly? Ooh, cool knife, dude. Fake guns aren't allowed in Disneyland anymore. Put that thing away. It's time to head around the rivers of America and over to the Haunted Mansion. See, look. I miss Fantasmic. Do you love Fantasmic, George? It's okay. Ah. Okay. It's the best Disney show of all the Disney shows ever, dude. Fantasmic, dude. Fire breathing dragon, dude. Giant pirate ship. Although I heard it's going to be. If it turns into the Pirates of the Caribbean. It is, dude. No, it's not. That's no. the big rumor. Nope. It's not gonna be Peter Pan anymore, buddy. If it does, I'm never stepping foot in Disneyland again. You're lying. <laughs> You're exaggerating. Stop exaggerating, George. You can't take away Peter Pan. You can, and they will. I don't think they should, but they did, or they do. That's they, what the rumor or is. they man. will, or they are. They are. Don't worry, though, dude. I heard they're putting in a Peter Pan ride in Fantasyland. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. Yes, dude. Yes. Second favorite ride at Disneyland. Yeah. First favorite ride, Pirates. Second favorite ride, Haunted Mansion. Look at that. Dude, I haven't ridden the Haunted Mansion in like nine months, six months, something like that. Other than, you know, riding it with the Jack Skellington version. I don't count that, but I only even rode that like two times, so I've been missing the mansion. Oh man, this line is so long, dude. Oh, it's so painfully long. Oh, I want to live in there. That looks good. Ah. It's so long. Oh, the waiting is killing me. Dude, look at all these people in front of us. We're never gonna get on this ride. Dude, the only thing I love more than regular mansions are haunted mansions. Ghosts are super cool. This chamber has no windows and no doors. Find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. <laughs> Good laugh, dude. Dang, George's laugh game is on point. Dang, dude, I want a hallway like this in my apartment. I think I can expand my apartment. What if I did it at my own expense? The landlord couldn't get mad then. If I had the option to live inside the haunted mansion, I would do it, except that it's too dark. And I have this weird thing where I can't eat food in the dark. I have to be able to see my food, dude. It wears me out. I can eat food anytime. Yeah. I love how there's faces on everything in the haunted mansion. Creepy. You ready, dude? I was born ready. Ready to get scared. Say she's ahead of the game. Oh, that's the way to get ahead for sure. Yes. Look at these creeps. Look at these ghouls. Okay. This is Haunted Mansion. Bullet hole in the glass. It's Spider covering it up. Coming right up. Somebody shot a bullet through the glass over here, so the legend goes, and they had to cover it up. Right there, the spider is covering up the bullet hole. See it? See the hole in the glass? And that's because they built this mansion around the glass. You can't replace it without tearing the roof off. At least that's a legend. A lot of people say it was a beauty gun. That's impossible. That glass is super thick. George just said, could have been a red rider beauty gun. I hadn't thought of that. They are very powerful. Oh. I miss the old bride. Catbox goes. This thing. Well, I don't know about slightly frightened, but I was at least partially startled. We're very mild, mildly thrilled. Yes, very mildly thrilled. That's a good one. The caretaker. I love the caretaker here. And I love this gate entering the cemetery. I hope when I'm dead, I get buried in a cemetery just like this. Creepy owls and pumpkins. 
pop-up ghosts and little kitties everywhere. People are singing and playing. Close your eyes and don't try to hide us. Uh. They speak, they sit by your side. Shrouded in the darkness. So freaking awesome. Sometimes I'm just speechless. The craftsmanship. The imagination. The ghosts. Hitchhiking ghosts. I love those guys. I'm so happy. I miss the Haunted Mansion. Of course, now that I just rode this Haunted Mansion, I all of a sudden miss the Disney World Haunted Mansion. So, see, look at that. Blue skies now. Prepare for rain, get the sunshine. Look at this, look at this, look how beautiful it looks out here now. Blue skies, wonderful clouds, and a beautiful view of the smoking area over there. <laughs> it certainly is a sight to behold. Indeed. I just want Fantasmic to come back, and I just want Pirates to be open. Look at this, this is very confusing. How many minutes do we have to wait for it to reopen? Well, I can't ride through delicious Pirates, but I can go eat some delicious pizza. Let's go, buddy. It is so pleasantly nice. Not crowded here today, but it is still way more crowded here than Knott's Berry Farm. So that's right, go for my old West Jollies now, dude. They gotta put the pack mules back here. That would that would show not a thing or two. I always wish I could go to 1960s Frontierland, dude. People heard me wrong when I went to the Disney Family Museum. I said that 1960s Frontierland, blah, blah, blah. Frontierland was better than it is today. And everyone who thought I heard said Fantasyland, they're like, no, Fantasyland's better now. Yeah, Fantasyland's better now, but Frontierland was better back then. Pack meals, dude, covered wagons, Mind Trick to Nature's Wonderland. All kinds of cool stuff back and then. And the Golden Horseshoe. Golden Horseshoe. Yeah, dude, they had Wally Bogue out here doing his thing. Old times. Hi. Although technically the covered wagons weren't here while Mine Train Dude Ancient Wonderland was here, but we'll just let that one slide. There were can-can dancers like Lily McLegs and Fanny McGee. And back then men could do this. Wow! George, can you do that? Can you do what that guy's doing? Yeah. I bet you could, dude. You can yeah, do it. Do it right now, dude. I don't have my hatchet. Oh, good point. Out of the old west and into the future. They didn't have gluten-free pizza in the old times. They don't even have gluten-free pizza today. You can only find it in the future. All I want, though, is for them to bring those gluten-free chicken tenders and fries to Disneyland that they have at Disney World. They're allergy-friendly. No dairy, no gluten, no nothing. 100% pure deliciousness. But until then, we'll have to get gluten-free pizza. George right now is on the phone with the little Samantha. alien out in okay. Nevada. Because around this time last year, we went to Area 51 together and stayed at the Little Alien and we could not remember the lady's name. She said Samantha, but I don't believe her. That doesn't sound right. doesn't sound right. I love that I was just talking about that off camera and then I turn around and you're <laughs> on the phone calling them, dude. Baller move. First wish, chicken tenders. Second wish, that they someday, somehow, bring back the people mover. There's a lot of old school Disneyland things that I don't really care if they ever bring back, like the remote control planes or the UFOs. I don't really care. I don't mind. But the people mover. The people mover should return. If I could be in charge of Disney for a day, for like a week, if I could yeah. just own Disney, uh -huh. I would get in there and just grab everybody by the shirt collar really? and be like, yeah. I don't care how much it costs. Ooh. I don't care how many human lives are sacrificed. I want the people mover. And I want a Scottish accent. All right. Time for some grub. Taking over Disney as an aggressive Scottish man makes me really hungry. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I also like that they have cherry coke in here. Pizza and a drink. You are so cute, I can just drink you up. Yes, I could. Mm. George, my cherry coke is super cute. How's yours? Is yours super cute too? Mine's super cute. The great thing about Pizza Port, besides the gluten-free pizza, is that when you eat in there, you're actually eating inside of an old attraction. Freaking rocket to the moon, dude. Mission to Mars, heck yeah. Put Mars on your pizza. Yeah, and now we have to sit outside because George likes it outside. How dare you sit just where I wanted to sit. All done. My tummy's full. Thank you, random cast member, for making my delicious pizza. Okay. The sun is maybe going down. It's really hard to tell. I keep having those weird burps like, you know, when you're full. You got the, like, uh, <laughs> full. I just love the C-3PO and R2-D2 are in this window. It's nice to have you back, R2. Okay, visited Adventureland yesterday, Frontierland today, now Tomorrowland. Time for some Fantasyland. Oh, heck yeah. I hate riding that thing, but I love looking at it. Okay, here we go, through the castle, in for a little fantasy. Okay, I can see the lights came on in Main Street USA, 
This is probably the last ride we'll do. Whoa, there haven't been many people around in Disneyland all day today. It looks like Fantasyland's the exception, dude. It looks like there's a few peeps here. Nothing George loves more than a crowd, getting close to him and touching him a lot, stepping on his feet, touching his face. You love it when people touch your face, right? Oh, the Harold G. shop is super closed, but the sign is still out here. I want that sign, dude. They finally covered up all the windows. Can't even peek inside anymore. Don't you wish you get your hands on that crown, dude? If I got you that crown from the park, would you wear it? No, because I'm a Ducks fan. What? Wouldn't stand for the Kings, dude. Wouldn't you just wear it around like, I'm the King of Fantasyland? It looks too similar. <sighs> Look at this beautiful Twilight Castle. Okay, enough looking around. It's time to ride on something. Fantasyland, which ride to choose? Well, we could choose Peter Pan. Line seems a little long. Snow White, line seems a little short. Decisions, decisions. What's this? Ooh. Jolly holiday with these guys around. Hello. How you going? Did you see that guy carrying a Susan phone around? Wow. Mr. Toad? Nah. Too wild for me. <laughs> Get it too wild? Wild? What a wild one. Okay. Oh, uh, I know. Pinocchio! So that's where all the people are at today. They're all in line for Pinocchio. Bro, we picked a very popular ride. That means we're popular now. Look at that view, man. I wish I had that view out of my windows at home. All I got out of the windows of my home is the view of my neighbor's garage. They need to put more webcams at Disneyland. They're just 24 hour webcams. Like, did anyone out here just to watch Fantasyland? Are there webcams? You I don't know. Actually, are I, know, I know KTLA has one. Dude, I'm actually super psyched to ride Pinocchio right now. It has been a while. If you go back to my old videos from last year, you can see the French version of Pinocchio. Kind of missed that version because I missed their weird little flesh color Jiminy Cricket. Oh, how's this? It's almost our turn. Here we go. Stromboli Sicilian, because then I'm probably related to him. Oh! Here's Jiminy! That's where he says, Oh, Whoa, this looks like fun. Hey, look at it, guys! It's Disney California Adventure here! New George, it's DCA, bro! Woo! Anybody know what those guys' names are? I never know their names! Oh, here we go. Check it out. The only hologram in Disneyland is that mirror right there. Oh my gosh! What have they done to the Mona Lisa? They've turned it into Mona Dapper. Let's get out of this place. Oh, okay, Jiminy. Uh, yeah. Nice and peaceful. Nice good to the ocean. Monstro! Thank goodness. Wait a minute. Almost where? Oh, the Blue Fairy's up there. This should be good. Ooh. Hey, Blue Fairy, I need to ask you for some wishes. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you go? I'm so happy. Ah, figure out. Jiminy! Dude, I should redecorate my living room like this. That would be awesome. George, is this what your living room looks like? You'll never know. You won't let me in his house. That's not a joke. George literally won't let me in his house. Dude, George, I promise I won't make a mess, dude. Let me in your house, we'll watch it's hockey. It's got nothing to do with it. What does it have to do with? Taxes? Dude, I swear, I won't mess up your house. Look, don't feel bad, it's not just you, it's everybody. No one's invited to my house. What about Fake Tyler? Would you let Fake Tyler in your house? <laughs> Especially you not Tyler. Let me in your house for a little bit, then that way I can go in your house more than Fake Tyler and I can brag and rub it in his face. No. Dude, we just touched hats, we just leveled up his friends. <laughs> oh, these guys are already done. I just love that sousaphone so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the hell has happened here? Someone got the sword. Somebody got the sword. Someone's the king. Dude, George, was it you, dude? Are you the king? What the hell? Who among you has drawn the sword from his, the stone and is right wise ruler born of England? What the heck? Arthur was here. Arthur was here. Finally, I can use my anvil, get some metal working done. All right, go around, George. All right, now pull the sword out. Smile. Pull it out. Pull the sword out, bro. Why aren't you pulling the sword out? One of the cast members said that one of the maintenance workers pulled the sword from the stone. Somebody better call Prince William and Prince Charles because they're going to be bummed. She said the worker's name was Arthur. 
All hail King Arthur! God really save the king! It was B. Arthur. Wait, who? It was B. Arthur. Oh! Well, she is the Queen Bee. Right? You know. Next up, up and away, up to Neverland! Look at the way it's just attached on that bar there. Ugh. Sometimes I get kind of nervous that we're gonna fall off. Oh boy! Here we go. Oh, it's Nana! Hi, Nana! There's a little secret right here. Not only is there a hidden Mickey in the clock right there, those clouds down there are actually just trash bags. Here we go, George. Neverland! Wow! Wow! Dude, that's where Michael Jackson lives. Julia Roberts! <laughs> so rough. It's funny because I didn't used to think there was a difference between this one in Florida, but there's a lot of differences. Tiger Lily! Whoa! Oh, no. oh no, it's Captain Hook! Where's the clock? I said you went to the wife is going to be so mad. Pixie dust! Pixie dust! It's free! <laughs> we did it, we survived! Now we get to see mermaids and trees and. Oh! You gotta watch that re entry, bro. What? Oh, well, I survived another round of Peter Pan and it didn't snap off the track. I'm okay. It's a legitimate phobia. You guys are never gonna believe who I just ran into. It's mad. George and I just ran into this phony, oh. fake oh. Tyler. Real Tyler Evans was emailing me today, talking to me about all this cool stuff he's working on. What cool stuff are you working that on, fake great. Tyler? Uh, you working on anything? Just... Anything phony, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe gonna go hang out at the fake McDonald's? Fake, 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 fake. Fake, 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 day. Me say oh, Hey, daylight, come and me wanna go all day. Me say day, me say day, me say day, me say day, me say. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> you listen to me, buddy. Yeah, what are we talking about? I like you, and we are friends. Yes, we. Don't are. you forget it. Okay. Well, I don't know where I'm going. All right, time to pivot and swivel and come into the Rancho del Zocala. A delightful Mexican eatery and also the birthplace of the Dorito. Like I said in a video a few years back, this was once the Casa de Fritos, home of the Fritos Kid, which was amazing. Tell him what the Fritos Kid was. Uh, he was like a little kind of pudgy kid that was like... A okay, he's lying to you, just Google it. And it's also the home of Lando Calrissian. Damn Lando, bro. <laughs> Lando. This horse is getting crazier all the time. He's ready to woo Princess Leia, dude. He's got that freaking rose. But if you really want to woo the ladies, guys, you should sing them a love song. Oh, Catalina, me corazón es muy mucho. But more important than both of those things to my purpose is this is the other place in Disneyland you can get cherry coke. Or as my friends in France call it, sherry coke. But it's, it's cherry, cha-cha. Gotta get cherry. that hard cha. Ah, a little cherry Coke in my gullet. It's a beautiful night in the old west. Ah, I'm sorry, I meant old west. <laughs> oh, you brought me a straw. Thanks, friend. You're welcome. Oh, hey. Now look at this here. Kind of hard to see, but you see the three circles here? You see the indent pattern on this beam right here inside the restaurant? Some people say that's a hidden Mickey. I say it's probably three little circles in a big coincidence, but hey, to each his own. I was getting a little tired and thinking about leaving the park. How could I leave without one more round of... Indiana Jones!
and it's been fun, and it's been real fun. But I've got other duties to do before I can go home and sleep well. So this is where I'm gonna drop you guys off, here at Disneyland, and I'll see you all a little later. Remember, live fast, die poor. Spreadshirt.com for the sweet t-shirts. Patreon.com slash Justin Scott helps keep the show on the road. All the links are down below in the description. Thank you guys for being cool, kind, and supportive, which are the best three things that really anybody can be. I truly thank all of my regular viewers here from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Goodbye. Look at Pele. She's the only person in Disneyland who looks more angry than you, George. More angry than George.